Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ajay. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about merge, merging sorted arrays. So how you can merge two sorted arrays into a single array. So this can be actually used in merge sort algorithm as well. So I'm also planning to do that merge sort algorithm in the coming videos. So before that, if you know how to merge two sorted arrays, that would help uh, to learn merge sorting easily. So let's look how we can sort to merge two sorted arrays into a single array. So here if you say I'm having two arrays, which is uh, 135 and the other one is 24678. So these both are sorted. So I have to actually merge them and put in a array. So the brute force here is you can directly add the elements in the same order in the new, ar new array and then after you can sort the new array so that would take n log in time so that is a brute force thing brute force solution so we can actually do this in lin linear time as well so let's see how we can do this in linear time so here if you see i'm having i will use a i pointer for this array i will use j pointer for this array and I use k pointer for this array so I have to put all the elements in this array on these two arrays so let's see how we can do so first I will compare the first element of this array and the first element of this array and check which element is less and insert that element so here if you see first I is at 0 and j is at 0 So first i is at 0 and j is at 0. So you will compare which element is less. So here 1 is less than 2. So you will insert that element in this new, new array. So you inserted the element from this array which is having i pointer. So at that time you have to increment i pointer. So you have to increment the pointer from which array you are adding the element to the new array. So here I added the element from this array, so I incremented i pointer. I'm doing nothing with the j. Okay. So in the next step. So now i is incremented, so i will become 1 and j is still 0. So now i is at 1 and j is still at 0. So now we'll compare 3 and 2. So which is less, 2 is less than 3. So now we'll add 2 in this new array. So we added 2 from this array, which is having j pointer. So as we added the element from this array, we have to increment j pointer now. j plus plus. So then you know, from whatever array you add the element, you have to increment that particular pointer till the end. So that way you can get all the elements. So now I added the element from the second array, which is having j pointer. So I incremented j plus plus. No, I'm doing not uh, right now. I is one and j I incremented so it will become 1 ok so now i is at 1 and j is at 1 now we will compare 3 and 4 so 3 is less than 4 now I will add 3 ok so I got the element from this array so I will increment i plus plus ok so after i plus plus now i will become 2 and j is still 1 now I will compare the second element of the first array which is at index 2 and First, as uh, I'll compare compare the index one element from the second array. So five with four. So four is less than five. So now I'll add four. So I, I added the element from the second array. So I have to increment j pointer. So if I add element from second array, I'm incrementing j. If I'm adding element from first array, I'm incrementing i. Okay. Now I. Oh, I incremented j as I added 4 from the second array. So now after incrementing, i will be same and j will become 2. Okay. Now i is at 2 and j is at 2. Now we will compare both 5 and 6. 5 is less than 6. So I will add 5. So I added the element from this array. So I will increment i. Okay. So after that. I will become 3 
and J is still 2. So here if you see, I'm done adding all the elements from this array and the length of now currently i is greater than i is actually equal to the length of the array so that means there are no more elements left in this array so the so you have, you can directly add all the elements after two from the second array so let's see how we can do so here we added five and j is at two so we i mean as i is equal to the length of the array one in that scenario we have to just add all the elements from two to n of in the second array so currently j is at two so we'll add six and we'll do j plus plus okay so y is still three and we implemented j so j will become three okay so now j is at three now we'll add seven Okay, now as we added it from the second array, we are again incrementing j. I mean, so we already added all the elements from array 1, so the only elements left would be j. So we can directly add all the elements then after 2 into the new array. So j plus plus, so i is still 3, so j is 4. So j is 4, we have 8 at 4, so we'll just add that one. Okay, and we'll do j plus plus. Now this is 3 and j will become 5. So this says when i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 5, which are equal to the length of those arrays, that says we finished in inserting the items into the new array. So that way we'll complete all the uh, insertion of these items into the new array. So this is so this is this way we can actually merge two sorted arrays into a single array. So let's see how we can code this one. So actually I written the prototype of this function. So it will actually return the new array of integers by taking in two sorted array of integers. So first I will declare uh, i pointer for array 1 to 0 and I will declare j pointer equal to 0 for array 2 ok next I will create a new temporary array that would be the length would be we have one dot length plus ar2 dot length okay so i created a temporary array so the temporary array is ready and i pointer and j pointer are ready now what i have to do is i'll use while 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 i is less than array one dot length which is as we are pointing i to the first array we have to check with array one dot length and j is less than array two dot length so why i is less than array one dot length and while j is less than array two dot length we'll start performing this first we'll check if array one of five is less than array two of j then and also i will uh, have a pointer k for the temp array okay so whenever array 1 of i is less than array 2 of j then what we are doing we are inserting the element which is less so that is the array 1 of i into the new array so temp temp of k k 
is starting from zero. Temp k is zero, so it is starting from zero. So initially it will be zero. Temp of k would be array one now i. So I mean here one is less than two, so we are adding one uh, to the temporary array, and we are uh, incrementing i. So we added i. We added i. So we added an element from this array. So we are incrementing this pointer. Okay, we are doing nothing with the j. So this is first condition. Okay. I also have to increment k. But I will do it last. Okay. Before that, so if this is less than array two, then we are getting the value from array one. Else. Else means whenever else means array one of i is greater than array two of j. So in that scenario, we'll add array two of j to the temp. Temp of k would be array two of j. And as I added the element, uh, from, if I add element from array two, then I have to increment j pointer. I'm incrementing j plus plus. So I'll close the else block and I'll close the while block. Okay. So this is clear. This is clear, right? So then after you know, if you see here, I'm having the while loop with these two conditions. The I, I must be less than array one dot length and j must be less than array two dot length. So here, if you see, till here it is okay. When i is till 2, it is okay. But when i is 3, that means I added all the elements. So it will not come in this loop. Why? Because when i becomes 3, i becomes 3, it doesn't match this condition. So it will come out of the loop. So after coming out of the loop, I will be having this, this 3 elements still to be added. So how to do that one? So for doing that, Again, I will use one more while loop while i equal to equal to array one dot length. That means when i is equal to array one dot length, then I have to insert all the elements from j equal to two. That means from here to the end. Okay. So when i equal to equal to array one dot length and then j is less than array 2 dot length j is less than array 2 dot length now I will add so here uh, I missed a thing here so in this while loop for each time you have to do k plus plus so each time when you add an element to the temporary array, we have to increment the k as well. So I'm doing it in the before while loop. So I just forgot to write it. So I have written now. So if you come to this loop, so when the array, uh, when the first array pointer is at three, and j is still less than array two dot length, which is here, you have to add all the elements, remaining elements two, three, and four. So for that. I will use temp of k equal to array 2 of j and now I will increment j plus plus and I will also increment k okay that way I will add all the elements from 2 to 4 in the new temporary array so this is done so, I mean, there may be a scenario when the first array is, would be having more elements, like uh, first array would be having five elements and second array would be having uh, three elements. So in that scenario, maybe we'll uh, end up filling all the elements in the second array first and the first array elements will be still pending. So in that scenario, I will just do the same thing. Uh, 
to overcome that scenario also like this while loop so I, I will use one more while loop when j is equal to array 2 dot length and then i is less than array 1 dot length so this is just vice versa so when in this scenario you can see array 1 is less array 1 length is less than array 2 length so here you can see it comes into this while loop but there may be a scenario where array 1 would be greater than array 2 length so in that scenario uh, we can it comes into this while loop so i'm just making sure it must uh, run in all these scenarios so for that reason i'm writing this while loop so in this scenario temp of k would be array 1 of i so um, as i am adding elements from my actual i plus plus and actual k plus plus for the temporary array okay so that's it so by this way you can actually merge the two arrays into a new temporary array and finally i will return the temporary array Uh, don't worry if you cannot understand him, you, if this code is not clear uh, anyway i'll post this code in the description of this link anyway i'll post the link in the description of this video so you can get the code from there so for now i'm writing this return ten. okay so finally i'm returning the temporary array which is having two arrays in the so this is the solution for merging the sorted arrays so let's see the time complexity of this so here if you see the n, n is equal to length of the array is 8 and we are performing how many steps how many iterations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 so that is nothing but we are performing n steps that would be uh, so the time complexity would be big of ten. okay so if you see at the end we are actually performing uh, all the while loops for n times so it would be big of n and if you see the space complexity uh, it would be again big of n as we are using a temporary array here so that would be big of n okay so this is our merging two sorted arrays so in the coming videos uh, I'll be explaining about merge sort algorithm. So for you to understand that clearly, you have to, you have to know how to merge two sorted arrays. So I'll also post the link of the merge sort thing or merge sort algorithm in this description of the video. So if you want, you can uh, also watch that one. And thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, you can post it in the comment sections. Thank you.